In 2007, two of the game's most celebrated clubs went head-to-head -head in the first of two Anfield Cup encounters in a week as Liverpool entertained Arsenal in round three of the FA Cup. <laughs> Off the pace in the Premiership, both clubs were looking at the FA Cup as a great chance for silverware. But both teams would have hoped for an easier draw in round three. Arsenal welcomed back their injured captain Thierry Henry and Arsene Wenger was confident his team could knock out the current holders. A record afternoon to you from me, Peter Brackley, and yes, it's once again that so eagerly awaited weekend in the English football calendar. The third round of the FA Cup when the major clubs in the land from the top two divisions begin their annual assault on the world's most famous cup competition. Mixing in, of course, with potential giant killers who've survived to this stage from the first two rounds. And of all the 64 matches up and down the country this weekend, this sumptuous showdown at Anfield is, of course, as engaging as any. Liverpool the holders, and currently third in the Premiership, at home to an Arsenal side captained by Thierry Henry today, who are just one place below them in the league, and who've had outstanding success themselves in the FA Cup in recent seasons. Three times winners in the past five years. Well, let's have a look at the team news then, beginning with Liverpool. And Rafa Benitez doesn't select the same side too often, does he? And he's shuffled his pack again to come up with this starting eleven, one that doesn't include Craig Bellamy. He's only on the bench after struggling all week with an injury, so Peter Crouch partners Dirk Kout up front. Thierry Henry's scoring return against Charlton on Tuesday after a month on the sidelines was such a boost for Arsenal and he is then a starter again this evening with Robin van Persie in the chief supporting role. It will be Liverpool to kick off. It's their first FA Cup meeting since 2002 when Arsenal were the winners at Highbury. And of course they've cashed three times in the FA Cup final itself. Most recently the previous year, 2001, the first Cardiff event when Liverpool won courtesy of those two late goals from Michael Owen. The first free kick of the game. It's gone Liverpool's way. Here is Pennant. Another to Carragher. In harness with Dan Agger at the back. Sam Herpia played in the last game, but he's only on the bench this evening. And there's Reset. Played a big part in their success last season in this competition. Up comes Amunia though. Peter Crouch then up top alongside Dirk Kout. Well, he wants his team to be uh, a bit more deadly away from home. But here at Anfield, very few teams get the better of them. Nobody, as I was saying, since March of last year. Here's Garcia, just ghosting away from Glenn. Now Agger. This is Finnan. Agger's pass. Luis Garcia a shirt for him. Claiming handball though, I think by Flavidi. Steve Bennett was having none of it. But Liverpool making most of the early running here. Torre just shielding it then so Amunia can collect. And he duly obliged too. Carries a good deal of menace, Stuart Kout. Whether in tandem with Bellamy, or as he is today, with Crouch. As they've got Robbie Fowler too, but he's not featuring. The lovely ball slipped through. Almost into the path of Rosicki, and Dudek had to have his wits about him. He was certainly onside. Then a clumsy challenge from Torre. The Liverpool taking it quickly, taking it in vain. It's Clichy.
Risa. Buscas here turned into Flap. And Arsenal nearly got themselves into a bit of a, a dither there. He still might. Steve Bennett sitting away. It goes Alonso, then Crouch. And finally it's hacked clear. That's Van Percy going down. It's all just a little untidy at the moment. Both teams struggling for a foothold. Counts kept it going well here. And just tipped away by Almunia. Couldn't take any chances, not with Peter Crouch lurking just behind him. Excellent work by the goalkeeper. He may be the backup, but he's no main performer. Because he had a spell when he was the first choice ahead of Lehmann. Bennett's corner. Rosicki. But Henri couldn't quite take it in his stride. Liverpool pressing again. And Peter Crouch. Well, he's come up with a few spectacular strikes in his time at Liverpool. Not this time. And it was a stunning volley from him in the, uh, in the Bolton game. The crowd were on their feet again then. And he got a very good goal too recently for Liverpool. Drop range. And the win over Watford. He can hit them. Not that many chances so far, but what we have seen have pretty much fallen to Liverpool. The home team, such a dominant force at Anfield. But Arsenal resisting well. Defiantly. Reset. That was blocking his path. Flamini. And to Gilberto. Anchoring again in midfield. Off by Rosicki. Van Persie's checked into the middle. This is Alexander Klem. Rosicki. Good football from Arsenal. Henri's in the centre as well. Rosicki! He's in! Struck it really sweetly. And though it may have come against the balance of play, it's Arsenal who have the lead. To the joy of their travelling fans up here on Merseyside. Only his second Arsenal goal. And it was so well taken. Flowing fluent football from the Gunners. Glenn played his part. And Rosicki with that first time strike. And it was too hot for Dudek. Just curled it beyond him, into the corner. Carragher for Liverpool. The goal on 37 minutes, that divides the two teams. Thierry Henry, the battle plan is working for Arsenal at the moment. Agger, and to Pennant. And Gerard was almost caught napping there. Flair. Major efforts in the goal. Hit off by Flair. They really are biting in with their challenges, Arsenal. Well, that surely is a free kick. Alonso was being pulled back all the way then. I think in fairness to the referee, he was trying to allow the advantage but eventually had to blow the whistle. Clipped up by Carragher, but straight to Senderos. And Gilberto and Kleb. It was rock-footed, though. The boy is standing firm against Luis Garcia. Flamini. And that. Well, that was a loose ball then by Kleb. It might have been very costly. Sanderos to Clichy. You've got to keep that alive, that guy out Clichy. Five up here for Arsenal. He chose the wrong option. Now they might get caught on the break. Pennant. No, uh, false back. 
Arsenal so keen to close their opponents down. Dudek in for Pepe Reina. And beaten by Thomas Rosetsky. Arsenal sneaking ahead. Carragher looking for the run of Crouch. 2 2 though was Philippe Senderos. He has his dodgy moments, but is very combative. Pennant. Count and Crouch in the centre. Crouch couldn't hold it up. Out comes Gilberto. Doing what he does. Doing it so well. Henri, beautifully done. Lamine. Arsenal on the prowl again. Ebue. Shoved out of it though. That was a venomous finish by Rosetsky. Set up by Hleb. Didn't give it a second thought, did he? As he whipped it in. And they're ahead on Merseyside in the Anfield Fortress. Now Carragher. Let's try again. Peter Crouch. Gerard joining in. And Alonso. Here is Alonso, then Gerard. Couch. And Torre was alive with the danger, so to Senderos, but he's actually given away a free kick there for his challenge on Couch. So here's a chance for Liverpool. With half time beckoning. Well, he did go into the back of him, Senderos. Couch complaining. And the referee concurs with his opinion, but that is worth a free kick. And concern back there then for Arsenal. John Arnorisa could be the man here. Alonso showing interest as well. The left foot of Risa, which can be so deadly. He gets so much power behind his shots. Some urgent organising for Almunia to do. Five in the wall for Arsenal. Six actually now. You count Rosicki on the end. Alonso looking to tee this up surely for John Arnorisa. It was travelling, but it flew away for the corner. And Arsenal breathe a huge collective sigh of relief. Might have been uh, Rosicki, it came off actually. Luis Garcia, Amunia holding on very well there. Good catch, good clean catch by the Spanish goalkeeper. Not easy with the likes of Crouch around. Red, then Nabue. It's all a bit tight from Arsenal, but they've come clear thanks to Gilberto. Very rarely gives it away, you know. Thierry Henry. That Percy wants it in the middle. Up comes Clichy. Liverpool hoping they can keep their shape back there. Rosicki probing for an opening again. Oh, yes! It's another beauty from the Czech Republic International. And Arsenal, almost incredibly here, have doubled their advantage. And it's the same man again. Wonderful build-up play here by the Gunners. Henri Rosicki. It seemed maybe his chance had gone. Liverpool will be furious with themselves here that they didn't thwart the danger. No one got a tackle in, and such accuracy on the final delivery from a gifted footballer. Liverpool nil, Arsenal two. In first half stoppage time. Twenty minutes to go. Pennant. He's got. Carragher to look for as well as Crouch. Crouch's header. 
nudged on by Couch, and Liverpool are back in it. 2-1, game on. Sendros didn't deal then, didn't cope with Peter Crouch. And Dirk Kout was able just to flick it on. Arsenal with a man on the line, no question of offside. Clichy on that post, Almonair couldn't get to it. And Kout claims his eighth Liverpool goal of the season. Baptista on for that Percy, that's an Arsenal change. Baptista who's been suffering with an injury. Came back briefly in recent weeks, then out injured again. Now he's in the firing line up front in place of Robin Van Persie, who didn't really make the impact today for all his hard running that Arsene Wenger would have wanted. And his team have got a real fight on their hands now. Gerard. Liverpool are back at business. Alonso. Luis Garcia. And then Sendros keeping his composure. Garcia. Just nicked away from him though by Mattia Flamini. Alonso, suddenly the whole mood has changed at Atfield. Peter Crouch. Aurelio. Penant was looking far post. Now it's Finnan joining in. And Steven Gerrard. Oof, a good hit. Good hit. Aurelio sucked it right around the back there. And almost caught Arsenal napping. Can Arsenal resist now for the last few minutes? A claim of famous victory. Thierry Henry passing to himself. Which in some circumstances is not a bad idea. Look at this. Still Thierry Henry. And he might seal it here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What a goal from Thierry Henry. The master goal poacher. Strikes again. Hard to believe it. He did pass to himself. He chased his own pass. That's mine, he says. Surely he won't get there first. Well, he didn't really, but he was strong. He was determined. And it certainly left Carragher flat footed. Where was the cover? Carragher's saying. And it was below Dudek. And the two goal cushion is restored. Dudek maybe will be thinking he could have done more. Well, he's being replaced now right at the end by Theo Walcott. And just listen to the reception he's getting from the Arsenal fans who've travelled up from London today. Young Walcott. Not too much time to make any impact. It's just about defending now, holding on to this two-goal advantage. Alonso. Well, Gilberto snaked out a leg then. I thought he played the ball, but presumably not. Steve Bennett a lot closer to the action than I am. Now, will it be the right boot of Alonso or the left of Aurelio? Just over one more minute of added time to be played after this. Bennett arguing with that Arsenal wall. It's Aurelio. The wall did its job. Alonso. It's Crouch. And it's surely all come too late now. Rosicki. Now to Claire. Just offside. Theo Walcott. But it's eaten up a few more seconds. Not many, but here comes Crouch. 
Kalt waiting in the middle. Pennant. On to Alonso. Senderos was in the right place. And Arsenal have booked their place in round four at the expense of Liverpool. A 3 1 win. Terrific start from them. Two goals from Brzezicki towards the end of that first half. Two very different goals, but both outstanding in their own way. Liverpool back in it. Crouch's header nudged on by Dirk Kurt, but then brilliance, absolute brilliance from Thierry Henry, and it was 3 1 and game over. Henri is back, and back with a vengeance too. Super stuff from the Gunners. They have beaten Liverpool in the third round of the FA Cup at Anfield by three goals to one. Arsenal's free-flowing football was put to the test against a strong Bolton Wanderers side in the fourth round. The Gunners eventually clinching the replay thanks to a penalty shootout. Blackburn Rovers proved even tougher opponents in the fifth round knocking out Arsenal 1-0 in the replay.